The predictions are officially in for the 2018 hurricane season, and if you were hoping for a break from epic storms, oh, we're about to rain on your parade. Why are hurricane predictions so important? And how has the science evolved? Here are the facts. This hurricane season, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is forecasting a 75% chance that the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season will be near or above normal. They're calling for a total of 10 to 16 named storms. Five to nine of those could become hurricanes, including one to four major hurricanes. To give you a comparison, the 30-year average is 12 storms, six hurricanes, and two major hurricanes. The Saphir Simpson hurricane wind scale uses a one through five rating based on the hurricane's sustained wind speed, and the rating is used to estimate property damage. The term major gets thrown around when there's a category three or higher with wind speeds of 111 miles per hour or greater. Here's a fun fact. We have been recording hurricane data since 1878. 2018 predictions are slightly above the historical average, but fortunately, it's a little less than the hurricane season in 2017. NOAA's 2017 forecast predicted 11 to 17 storms, five to nine hurricanes, and two to four major hurricanes. What unfolded that year was 17 storms, 10 hurricanes, and six major hurricanes tearing through the Atlantic Basin. You may recall six major hurricanes, with three of them making landfall, Harvey in Texas, Irma in the Caribbean and the southeastern U.S., and Maria in the Caribbean and Puerto Rico. Harvey was one of the costliest tropical cyclones on record with $125 billion in damages. Most of the damage was due to the rain-triggered flooding that left many parts of the metro Houston underwater. While Texas was still dealing with the damage left behind by Harvey, Irma made landfall nearly two weeks later in Florida as a Category 4 hurricane with 130 mile per hour winds. And then there was Maria that became the fourth major hurricane of the season, the second Category 5, and the deadliest storm of the 2017 hurricane season. Several areas in Puerto Rico are still suffering without electricity even eight months later. NOAA's 2017 predictions didn't match up exactly, but they are used as a benchmark point for expectations on damage and disaster funding. The forecast estimates how many storms we'll see each season, but not where they will hit or how strong a specific storm will be. In other words, a season could deliver many storms that don't do much damage, or a season could deliver only a few storms that have large damage totals. The bottom line is, you always have to be prepared. Since Hurricane Katrina, there have been many advances in the way we study hurricanes and deal with them. Technological advancements include unmanned aircraft, underwater drones, high-definition satellites like GOES-16 and NOAA-20, hurricane computer model upgrades, and river mapping that assists with evacuation efforts and recovery encampments. Science has also shown storms are getting stronger. The planet is getting warmer, which means the oceans are too. And warm water means fuel for hurricanes. Like Hurricane Irma, with its 185 mile per hour winds making it the strongest storm ever recorded in the Atlantic. So even though there might be slightly less storms than last season, they will likely pack a bigger punch. Hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th, which means if you don't have flood insurance yet, you might want to get the ball rolling. Some companies have up to a 30-day waiting period after you've paid your premium. Experts advise homeowners to go ahead and purchase those plans before the peak of the season. <laughs>